Hey folks, happy Sunday. I hope that you are having a nice relaxing day. If you are in the United States or you happen to be an American football fan, I hope you're ready for the Super Bowl later on today. Although I have just become an American citizen, I have to say, I'm not really big on, on the whole ball sport thing, but I'll, I'll try. I'll try at some point. I know that my daughter is, is really into it. I think she likes the hunky men. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk to you about today. Today, I want to continue my thoughts regarding the sustainability of electric cars and also the lifespan of electric cars and also how we use these vehicles throughout our ownership. And today I want to talk to you about what happens after we've finished using our cars, whether they become disposable or not, whether we sell them on, whether they end up going to a recycling center or whether, you know, somebody else comes along and buys the car. And the question I have for you today is, should we start paying for recycling of our vehicles when we buy them new? In other words, should we be purchasing a car and have some degree of recyclability already baked into our purchase price? Yes, we have to buy the car brand new and yes, we'll have to pay extra for it. But should we be taking into account recycling programs in the future? And the reason behind it is this. At the moment, it's kind of expensive to set up a recycling program for lithium ion batteries. There are programs coming online. There are new techniques that are coming online that make it really possible at last to recycle a large part of the lithium ion batteries that power most modern electric cars. But the costs associated with that are kind of expensive. And if you think about some of the other things that we buy and use, I mean, for example, here in Oregon, if I buy a can of soda or anything that's in a plastic bottle or a metal can, I have to pay a deposit towards recycling that in the future. And I'm guessing with electric cars, maybe we could do the same thing, whether it's with a battery pack, a deposit that you get back when you give the car battery back or you recycle the car, or whether we address the problems of end of life when we buy the product new. So people then become more mindful because if you're paying to dispose of the product after you've had it or at the end of its life, and maybe you make it a proportional thing throughout the ownership of the vehicle, then you make it more likely that that vehicle will carry on being used, that people will want that vehicle to continue to remain on the road in the future. I don't know if there is a solution or not, but I think recyclability, especially for electric vehicles, is a big problem because a lot of people seem to assume that when the battery pack is dead, that's it for the car. Now, there are battery replacement programs. We've talked about them before in this program, but they're not all that great and they're kind of expensive. So we have to avoid electric cars becoming a throwaway item like our smartphones, like our laptop computers. So what solutions do you have? looking forwards for recycling vehicles? Should we be paying up front to ensure that they can be recycled appropriately and responsibly? Should we be investing in recycling programs? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. As usual, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Although I hope that you didn't not like this video. I hope that you like this video. I, I you know, you can dislike the video if you want, but I'd be kind of disappointed if you do. Um, don't forget to scribble a comment if you have one, hit the notification bell, and as usual, if you want to support the show, you can do so using one of the links below, including buying some t-shirts or other swag from our swag shop. I'll be back soon with more content, but until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend or whatever day it is that you're watching this. And as always, keep evolving.